Hi, we're here talking to Chica, XSAP, uh, about the Multifier Alliance. Hi there. Hi, oh, hello. Hi. Um, so, can you tell me the latest on the, the kind of state of the Multifier Alliance at the moment? Yeah, well, certainly. The, the Multifier One for My just released at the end of the last year, 2018. The 1.1 is focusing on the IoTs and uh, meet the uh, enterprise customers' requirements such as the securities and also the latency and the quality of services. Right. And uh, also we cover the multiple multi multi spectrum like 900 megahertz for low frequency to extend the coverage like a few kilometers radiuses. And also the 1.9 of my frequency is also cover the Japanese unlicensed spectrum. And also, we are also covering 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi spectrum. So it's widely globally used for the, a, anywhere in the world. And can you explain how that works with uh, industrial IoT? Yes, it certainly is. Actually, uh, not of an IoT, and uh, actually means the KLM1, that all the CPP standard works under Multiplier 1.1. That's a benefit. We have a global device ecosystem and also globally available spectrum like a 2.4 gigahertz. And also the low frequency, high frequency get, give us a coverage for the low frequency and mid, mid spectrum for the capacities. So you mentioned 1.9 gigahertz. Yep. When will, that, when will we see that commercially in Japan? It has been already commercialized. All right. So the, the beginning of the 2018, all the regulation has been deregulated. So it is a TDLT band 39 band in globally, and it is unlicensed in Japan. So the 1.9 is, is globally available on all the smartphones in the world because of the, this is a global frequency, especially used by China Mobile. Right. So devices exist. And only the coexistence uh, etiquette rule is the listen, view, or talk just by base stations. So device doesn't change anything, and the, the base station just doing listen, view, or talk every hour. It's not like millisecond orders. It's really like a band 39 works. That's a benefit. Great. Now, we're at Mobile World Congress. We kind of have to talk about 5G. Mm -hmm. What's the Multifier Alliance going to do in kind of support of 5G and R? Certainly, we are very happy that the 3PP industry is announced to go to un support unlicensed 5G NR. And we are certainly right to cooperating with them because the one of the members is mutually you know, subscribed to the both the uh, alliances and the 3 members. So we, are, we have a lot of experience to how to operate in the unlicensed area. We are happy to help to make the standard better. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. My, my pleasure, thank you thank very you. much.